Now we need to add the email text field, the password text field with a login button. Now as we need two text fields, for example the email text field and the password text field here on our login screen. Similarly the same text fields we will need on our registration screen. So instead of writing the code many times for a text field, we will create a reusable widget which we can call whenever we need it. So this way we will write the clean code and it will keep our project professional. The coding technique will be professional. So anyways, now let's just right click on lib, new, create a new folder. We will give it name as widgets. Right click on widgets and let's create our first reusable widget for adding text fields. So new dot file and we will give it name as custom text field widget custom text field widget we will create a stateless widget we will give it name as custom text field widget now this custom text field widget will receive some parameters and that is first of all the text editing controller which simply means that which kind of editing controller this is either it is a for password for email for name or for what purpose then the next thing is the icon data then the reference to the asset if we want to display any custom icon image so for that purpose we have added here this asset reference and then the level string or you can say label text and all either the text field which we are implementing it is for password or not which is basically the is obscure property if it is true it simply means that uh, it will convert the text in dotted form that is it will not be a visible text However, if it is false, it simply means that it is, let's say, name text field or email text field where the text is visible. Remove this const from it. And we can say this dot editing controller, this dot icon data, this dot asset reference this dot level text this dot is obscure so now we can say return a text field widget for which the controller will be the editing controller decoration let's add some input decoration first thing will be the label text which we want to display for specific text field so that will be whatever the parameter we receive which is label text we will display that then the prefix icon so we will first check if the icon data if that is not equals to null then simply display the icon otherwise if icon data is not equals to null then display the icon otherwise else display the image if the icon is null it simply means we have custom image icon which we want to display so then this else part will execute where here we will now display that image
so the icon will be icon data and for the padding we can say edge inserts dot all from all side at child image dot asset and whatever the asset reference we receive we will display here now after this after the prefix icon the next property is level style if you want to apply some styling on the label you can apply here for example we will change the text size to 18 now next come the enable border feature how you want your text field borders so we have enable border outline input border border radius border radius dot circular and from all side it will be 6 and for the enable border what color we want to apply so that will be border side using border side basically we apply the color ok so we can say const border side the color will be gray and then for the focus border we will do the same so minimize this enable border code make sure to put here at the end a comma and then after the enable border just copy this piece of code okay copy it and then focus border and simply paste that outline input border here for the focus border we will have the same circular 6 and border side color will be gray then after the focus border let's apply the op after the input decoration as it is a text field property which is obscure text is obscure make sure to add a null check 